February 2001, world premiere of the new Agrotron TTV. For decades, technicians all over the world have been working on combining the high levels of efficiency of mechanical gearboxes with the operating comfort of infinitely variable transmission technology. This vision has been turned into reality thanks to the combination of a planetary gear unit, a reversing gear unit, and a hydrostatic gear unit in the Agrotron TTV. This joint development by Deutz Farr and Zett F. Friedrichshafen is based on extensive experience with agricultural gearboxes and achieves a high level of reliability as well as maximum efficiency and practical operating comfort. Through and through, the Agrotron TTV embodies a completely new concept in terms of reliability, design, and driving comfort. The infinitely variable gear unit forms the heart of the system. The TTV gearbox has a split power flow. This means the power flow through the gearbox is divided into a mechanical and a hydrostatic component, which can be separated and brought together. The mechanical component is transmitted via a planetary gear unit, consisting of four planetary stages. Multi-disc clutches with lifetime discs are responsible for changing between planetary stages. The hydrostatic component is varied by means of a hydrostatic unit. This means the speed of each planetary stage can be varied. The hydraulic reversing gear unit. Direct and smooth change of direction. These components and an ingenious electronic control system make the dream of infinitely variable driving combined with maximum efficiency come true. Let's explain the function of the TTV gearbox by taking the example of the first planetary stage. The sun gear is located in the center of the planetary stage. Three planet gears, which can turn freely, orbit around the sun gear. The planet gears are attached to a planet carrier. The ring gear surrounds the planet gears. The advantage of the planetary stage is that it transmits different directions of rotation and speeds. This property of the planetary stage makes it possible to bring together the speeds and directions of rotation of the two components. In the TTV gearbox, the first planetary stage is used for bringing together the mechanical component from the engine and the hydrostatic component from the hydrostatic unit. The engine drives the yellow sun gear. The hydrostatic unit drives the green ring gear. As a result, the mechanical and the hydrostatic speeds produce an overall speed which is transmitted via the orange planet carrier. In our example, the Agrotron TTV is ready to drive. The speeds of the mechanical and the hydrostatic components are the same. Because the direction of rotation of the hydrostatic component, that is, the ring gear, and the mechanical component, that is, the sun gear, are in opposition, the speeds cancel one another out. This means the planet gears are stationary and no movement is transmitted. Let's set off. The speed of the hydrostatic unit is reduced. This gives rise to an acceleration on the planet gears because the speed of the mechanical component remains the same. The Agrotron TTV is moving. The acceleration of the machine is greater the more the speed of the hydrostatic component is reduced. 
the speed of the hydrostatic component is reduced down to a standstill. This means that 100% of the drive for the Agrotron TTV is coming from the mechanical component because there is no longer any opposition in direction between the two components. The TTV is now operating with maximum efficiency. During further acceleration, the hydrostatic unit increases its speed in the same direction as the mechanical component. Since the speeds are no longer in opposition, they are now added together. This means the Agrotron TTV continues to accelerate. How can we cover the entire speed range from 0 to 50 km per hour using this principle? This is done by combining four planetary gear units using five multi-disc clutches. This means we can divide the entire speed range into four working ranges, which we can move through at an infinitely variable speed with the help of the hydrostatic component and the multi-disc clutches. Multi-disc clutches with lifetime discs make it possible to switch between working ranges with very little wear. Operation is smooth and comfortable for both gearbox and driver even when high load torques are involved. It is possible to operate at maximum efficiency with infinitely variable speed in every working range thanks to the combination of four planetary stages and the hydrostatic unit. So how are the speed and direction of rotation of the hydrostatic component actually changed? Infinite speed variation is achieved in the TTV using the hydrostatic unit. It controls the speed and direction of rotation of the hydrostatic component. A back-to-back -back motor pump unit is used for this. The variable displacement pump is driven directly off the engine via the main shaft. The driver uses the control unit to adjust the variable displacement disc in the pump electronically. The setting range of the variable displacement disc is from minus 20 to plus 20 degrees. The variable displacement pump is connected to the constant motor via a closed oil circuit. The variable displacement disc is now in the zero position. This means the speed of the hydrostatic component is zero because no oil is being pumped into the closed circuit. The constant motor is stationary because no speed is being transmitted. The greater the swivel angle of the variable displacement disc, the more oil is pumped and the more speed is transmitted. A one-to-one -one speed is transmitted when the variable displacement disc is at maximum deflection. Without using complicated technology, the hydrostatic unit generates a wide range of speeds in the plus and minus range, therefore providing the infinitely variable speed control in the TTV. How does the Agrotron TTV change the direction of travel? We use a hydraulic reversing gear unit, which is also a tried and tested standard component from the ZF range. The hydraulic reversing gear unit enables the direction of travel to be changed directly without stopping. The changeover takes place smoothly and without wear with highly dynamic properties. The decisive advantage of the hydraulic reversing gear unit in the Agrotron TTV is that we can use the characteristics of its infinitely variable drive in both directions. Forwards is the same as reverse this is an important feature of the Agrotron TTV. This is particularly beneficial when the machine is used for pushing. The power flow in the TTV gearbox in overview. The power flows directly from the engine to the PTO gearbox. This main shaft is used for providing direct drive to the hydrostatic unit and further onwards to the planetary stage. The planetary gear unit and the reversing gear unit transmit the drive to either the rear or front axle. 
The direct power flow in the gearbox and the compact arrangement of components contribute to excellent efficiency and reduce peak loads. Now let's accelerate the TTV from zero to maximum speed.